Okay, so today I'm going to show you. Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, how to really easily achieve VHS old school look in Premiere Pro, but let me first explain this heavy thing on my finger. You see it? No, it's not heavy, I'm just joking. Uh, I got married, she said yes, here are three pictures from our wedding. One, two, and three more to come once we get them from our wedding photographers who were amazing, so I cannot wait. And yeah, you know, I thought, okay, no, I'm married, no, I'm going to have to like clean the toilet for the whole day. You missed a spot there. Come on, clean it. But it's not like that. As you can see, I'm still here. I still have time to do this tutorial. So let's cue the intro and. Because I'm too much for the thrill of it. Killing it every night. In a million things I want. Okay, and now let's dive into the Premiere Pro. So, first thing you want to do is select this tab. So, make sure that the project panel is selected. Go to on the file, new adjustment layer and what this enables you is to apply an effect on multiple clips and now click directly on adjustment layer go under the effects and type in channel blur blur blur, blur. it's blurring my voice as well okay we got the effect on and usually i just play with the red channel i put it between 70 to 80 depends from the clip you can also try to play with the other colors but i prefer uh, the red blurriness um, and as you can see the edges are not blurred out with red color this is why you have to press repeat edge pixels then the second effect is it, it already looks old but it's not quite there yet so I'm going to add some noise boom and just to see what the effect does it creates noise like a high ISO I usually put it between 20 to yeah max 25 it really depends uh, from you it, the, the good thing is that you can really personalize this effect and then the third effect is called wave warp we drag it up or just double click okay as you can see it ruined the picture but uh, and as you can see it's already applying some sort of a weird effect on the picture and you can really customize it. I prefer uh, the square one for, for the VHS specific. Uh, now you can see it's turned into small squares, but I want to make them bigger. Uh, let's put it, yeah, like something like this looks fine. And I also want it to be in horizontal direction, so I'll put direction on zero. And I will also put all edges here because I don't want this black bars and then the last thing to sell the effect even more we will put a play button overlay so I already went here just write free VHS play overlay uh, download it I use this side to download the video I already imported it here here it is so what I'm going to do is just drag it above and adjust the scale and then also play with the blend mode usually it's either screen overlay or soft light uh, so no no okay so it's screen looks solid and if the effect is too strong you can always play with the opacity just make sure that to to toggle off the stopwatch so the effect will be applied through the whole clip and boom there you have it this is how it looks now yeah. and for the Thailand one specific which looks like this I used this effect I went on uh, YouTube I just wrote free VHS overlay and I downloaded the effects from this tutorial and just like put it over the footage the same as this one in the screen or whatever blend mode works the best 
and, and that's it. It's really, really super simple. If you have any further questions about VHS effect, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next Monday. Just like